Hey guys, what is going on? In today, the Modern Warfare multiplayer just got revealed. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the biggest changes and some of the coolest things that they showed off today. Now the first thing you might notice when you're watching actual multiplayer gameplay is that in this game there is no minimap or radar for default. Now it is a completely without no radar. To combat this, what they did is so that for kill streaks, every three kills you get a personal radar, which pretty much is a personal UAV that only affects you and not your teammates. The other kill streak that they put in is the actual UAV, and you get that at four kills. And then at 12 kills, there is a VSAT or what they call an advanced UAV in this game, which pretty much just shows real time enemy movements and it shows their position where they're aiming. The other thing that they revealed in this event is the full extent of the gun bench which is the new way of customizing your weapons. In the gun bench, each weapon can get up to 30 to 60 attachments, which is really insane for a Call of Duty game. So when you're actually in the gunsmith, with any of the guns, you can customize the muzzle, lasers, optics, stocks, rear grips, magazines, under barrels, the regular barrel, and, and you can actually add weapon perks to the actual guns. If you want to select the perk on your weapon, you have 9 to choose from. The first one is Slide of Hands, which just makes it so you reload faster. The second perk is FMJ, which just increases the bullet penetration that damage you do against equipment and score streaks. The next one is called Stance Training, which just gives you extra accuracy when you're in supported positions. Next one is called Mo Money, which just makes it so you get additional XP from headshots, which will be really valuable if you're wanting to level up. Next one is just called Burst, it just converts your weapon to a 3 round burst. Next one is called Frangible Wounding, which makes it so you can delay people's healing whenever you shoot them. Then you have fast melee, which makes it so when you're executing melee maneuvers, you do it with a lot faster speed. Next one is just an upgrade of the burst. It's called burst fire times three enhance, which makes it so the firing mode is to a three round burst with an improved fire rate. And the last one is called presence of mind, which makes it so you can hold your breath for an infinite amount of time. The last thing that was really interesting that they revealed that was definitely different than any other Call of Duty was the game modes that you can do. You have the 2v2 gunfight mode, the 6v6 domination mode, which we saw today. There's also probably going to be a whole bunch of other modes for regular 6v6. Then there's going to be a 10v10 mode, and then there's going to be a 20v20 mode. It's going to be almost similar to Battlefield in the amount of scale that these have. I think this is an interesting change for Call of Duty, and I guess we'll just have to see where this change goes and what they do on it. The thing that was really interesting though that they didn't say at all or mention verbally is that there is a nuke that is going to be returning as either 25 or 30 kill streak as you can see at the very end of the trailer. Thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty news.